Hey guys, and welcome back to a let's play of Dino Crisis 2 with your host here, Titan King 10. From where we last left off, I have something to tell you. I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is. Shotgun! Yeah! Um, <clears throat> I, I guess there's no good news then. Bad news is. You can see from my extinct point that I have much more than I did previously. That's because I pretty much have to restart the entire game. I uh, just sh short and simple and sweet. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Uh, my data got lost. Had to reset it. Had to reset it. Uh, took. Uh, I be. I got to this part of the game much faster, and uh, as you can see, I did a lot more successful too in that process. So now let's continue on, shall we? City front hall road. Hall road. Is that where they haul stuff? Hmm. A large herbivorous reptile, a triceratops, has crashed into a wall and died. It seems that someone has shot it with a poison bullet, causing its nervous system to break down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh my god! Now, there it is. I was just about to talk about, talk about it. Avoid... I don't want to rush this, but avoid any confrontation for now. Okay, get through the door as fast as you can. Trust me, people, y you want to do what I'm doing right now, uh, as soon as you can. So, we're gonna run over here, because, um, that's what true manly men do. Oh, there's a save point, maybe I can use it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Dinosaur's falling out of the sky! Don't look at the truck! <laughs> Crazy! Okay, let's freeze Mr. Owl in time for a second, because I need to get two things. Okay, our first... Item is a required sub-weapon. Chain mine fires mi five mines into the ground, blasting them instantaneously and turns the enemy onto its back. Hmm. Onto its back, huh? Well, I don't think it'll be kind of useful for a sub-weapon weapon, but it's actually uh, necessary to have with you because uh, it does more than just attack enemies. So by this, it is uh, needed. Now this. This. The anti-tank rifle, my favorite weapon of the game. <laughs> okay, this is exactly why the reason why I avoided those raptors. And, uh, ooh, lightweight armor. By wearing the armor, it will reduce the damage you receive by a half. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely picking that up. Ooh, crazy enough, I'm not, I'm not gonna skip that out. Now, um, as Mr. Al, I have a little present for you. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, don't be hasty, alright? Let's talk turkey for a minute! Ha 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 ha! Did you see that? The anti tank rifle just down the L source in three shots! Yeah, yeah! Now, as you can definitely tell, that is the upgrade to my beautiful shotgun, which. Now, now that I think about it, with my vanity, you know, surging through my veins at the moment, I, I'm inclined that Mr. Shotgun is not so beautiful anymore. Mr. Anti-Tank Rifle is now my new favorite weapon. In fact, I recommend actually increasing the uh, cartridge of Mr. Anti-Tank Rifle. Because, uh, as friendly as I am with Mr. Anti-Tank Rifle, oh yeah, that means I'm gonna be using it a plenty of times. So, yeah. Now, those Red Raptors deals, they actually will resist the shotgun, uh, spread actually very easily. In fact, I had to use six shots to down just one Red Raptor previously in my past, so Mr. Anti-Tank Rifle can, uh, hmm, let's see, a Velociraptor that, that takes three shots from a shotgun to down. That's, that's absurd. How about we just take on a Red Raptor and a regular Raptor of one shot? <laughs> no, I did not want to get hit. I, I, I said I don't want to get hit. You know what, Mr. Red Raptor, you ruined my mojo, so you know what? I'm gonna enter this door, and watch. Watch this magic trick. <gasps> I just pivoted, and now I'm coming back at it. Yeah, I know, I'm cheating. I, I really don't need the points. Like I said, I don't need the points. You know what? Screw it. I hate you, regular Raptor. <sighs> what? That's what you... Yeah. Satisfying crunching noise of power. Now, if you come over here and observe these worms that are rather immobile, get closer to this side. 
They'll run away and you'll find a new dinophile. Inner strength severe. What the heck? Length, 3.7 meters. Height, 1.2 meters. I guess they're not important enough to have a, uh, uh, meaning. Observation records. The cave route which leads to the city passes through a volcano. Two years ago, the volcano suddenly started acting up. From about that same time, the four-legged creature began appearing. They seem to favor hot and dark places. We believe that these four-legged creatures were herbivores to their scarcity... <clears throat> to, uh, due to the scarcity of living organisms in their habitat. But when one of our men was attacked by one of them, we learned that they were actually omnivores. Although they are slow, we have to find ways to counter them. We still have yet to find a way to fight them. It's their ultra-hard armor which they wear that makes them so tough. No regular firearm will hurt them. Their jaws are also very strong. Strong enough to even crush a helmet. Woo. The only effective way... We know so far is when they attack, they stand, they stand on their hind legs. This is when you should shoot their stomach. It seems to be their weak point. Currently, a prototype weapon is in the late stages of development. This mine-like weapon, when complete, should flip them on their backs. But we don't know for sure if it will really work. Ah, okay. Well, then I guess I'll have to be your guinea pig. I... Dylan likes to fail at the moment, okay? Can we get through the area uh, ahead of us any more easier than we currently are? Now, the reason why I didn't equip the sub, uh, the uh, new little mine is that because of that door, obviously, but now is a good time to equip it. I don't recommend using it until it's necessary, and I'll let you know when that is. Oh, don't worry, I will let you know when that is, because that is my job. This tree has a funny way Look, of showing off. This is David's mark. That's very cautious of him. That's how you survive. Let's look for another mark. Okay, let's split up then. Wait, wait, split up? No, that's the worst decision. Whoever came up with the, the great idea to split up? God, this isn't Scooby-Doo! It's the worst idea! Now, before I got interrupted, that tree has a bad sense of style with that yellow hat. Now, I actually recommend avoiding all these over-raptors because most of the uh, little places that you have to fight them are uh, in their favor. Especially on that little bridge. But you don't get to attack me instantly! I just got off! Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Alone. All right. Um. Yeah. So you see this boulder? No, oh, I guess we can't. We can't blow it up with the anti-tank rifle. But our little chain mine friend will help us. Throughout this little area, you'll find uh, more boulders to explode. So I actually recommend keeping at least five uh, chain mines with you at all times. Of course, I don't need health, so I won't go after that. But if you guys do need health, then, um, well, there you go. All right. Do I have to direct you to in order to pick that up? I don't know what it was. I, uh, I'm shrugging at the moment. I'm guessing maybe a med? Eh, I don't know. Oh! Why did I get the feeling that I was going to meet these guys sooner? Uh, okay, quickly aim at him and fire. It takes about three shots to down in strength Sevilla. The, the only weapon that can really take him on like this is the anti-tank rifle. You can flip them over on their back with the uh, chain mine, but I believe it takes about the same amount of shots to uh, kill them. Even if you do that. So, yeah, the way to save ammo here is to line them up like what I did, although it didn't last for very long. Um, and then fire, because, like they, like I said, it takes about three shots to do this. And, uh, since I only have a hundred bullets, it's, uh, it's not gonna be very, uh, bullet friendly. Now, if he's in a strength of would like to stop appearing for one second, then I can move. There we go. I absolutely recommend not getting hit whatsoever in these parts because uh, the amount of points is fantastic. Twelve thousand points! Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, yeah. 
Unfortunately, though, these guys actually love off-screen hitting you because they have a rush attack, and they will love doing that, and I completely missed. This is my preferred way of curing, so don't mind me that if I take it. Why'd I... What? No, I want to do this. Oh, come on. I wanted to do your favorite death animation. Do it. Oh, you wuss. Get in the hot tub, all right? You can actually kill... In a... Let's do this again. The right way. Okay, come here. There was one ahead. Where'd you go? You're kidding me. Come here. I am not leaving without doing this. Ugh, come on. I want to do this so bad. Come here, lazy. Yeah, the cool thing that you can do to conserve ammo and have a cool death... ...is to push him in the lava like that. Which only took me half a freaking dozen times to do. If I keep getting hit like this, I'm gonna have to use health, which I don't want to use. This game doesn't need it. Well, certainly not in this mode anyways. Well, I could have actually gotten a lot of points, but oh well. It goes to show that I am not invincible. I think right there is a health. Or a dead end. So, yeah. c c, -c combo Nope, not yet. There we go. That's... okay. Any more? One more? Maybe one more? Please, one more, so I can get bonus. Okay, that's two of them. Alrighty then. This part's actually kind of short, because we're actually finished. Now, we don't ever need Mr. Chain Mine ever again, so actually I don't even recommend even recharging it, as I don't even use it as a real sub-weapon. So... But the one thing that we will be recharging, and actually be getting, is a new weapon. The Rocket Launcher! Grab this if you have the points. I'm gonna recharge my beautiful anti-tank rifle. This episode's gonna consist of two big things, actually. One of which is gonna begin now, which is gonna, uh, use both characters. So enjoy the cutscene. Regina. Just walking my own business. Oh my god! Go, Regina! Head towards that control tower! I'll cover you! Ooh, big gun. Oh, ow. That had to hurt. Oh, what? This must be their nest. I can't handle this by myself. Use that signal bullet. I'll blast a big one to the place you point to. Right! Welcome to the relay mission. You got the signal bullet. Now, the point of this is, is one character will be running from the allosaurus and be using that gun. The other character will fire a hail of bullets wherever you shot that. There is a cooldown time between you using the uh, signal bullet and you can only... Uh, call upon the uh, hail of bullets if uh, the uh, little bullet on the lower right corner says fire. Otherwise, the you know, it's still on recharge time. So basically, we have to get our characters from point A to point B. Get through this area with the help of your partner covering you. By using the signal bullet armed as your sub-weapon, you'll be able to receive cover from your partner. Now, the thing I actually recommend is quickly uh, going back to your main weapon and equipping your better weapon because for some reason uh, this actually equips the character's signature weapons which is the weird thing I don't know why that is 
Now, I don't actually recommend killing of the Allosauruses because the amount of points is actually rather reduced. Quite a lot. And I actually meant to fire at the Allosaurus back there, and I don't know why I continuously ran that way. I think that is a small... I think. Get away from me. Make back up. Your turn. Okay, you better have good aim. Now it's Dylan's turn, of course. Which is, this is going to be a lot easier because we have the anti-tank rifle. I'll show you just how much the points have decreased because, well, I feel like killing these two anyways. Because they were jerks. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Nine hundred and fifty points. Compared to what? The five thousand you killed, the Allosaurus? Oh yeah, by the way, that just reminded me, there is no no hurt bonus, so doesn't matter if you get hurt or whatever. Well, it does. I mean you don't wanna die either, but you know. Don't don't uh don't get too upset about it. Get away from me. Yay for a counter. Yeah, the uh, hail of bullets can actually take down the Allosaurus very easily. I think it takes about two to three shots depending on where the Allosaurus was in the radius and how many hailed down on it to its head. That was close. You're here now. All right, and this is actually our last time doing this. Oh. I don't know what that health pack is. I'm not even going to try to guess. But it's probably something going to help you if you're out of health. I don't remember the Allosaurus being this aggressive. I really don't. Uh, they're actually both red. They have they been red the entire time? Good job. That's Let's go. odd. I'm not going to need this anymore. Nope. And for some reason, the Allosaurus just disappear. And also, when I was a kid, I always thought, why throw away that weapon? Because I totally thought that was the, the, the hail bullets thing. I was like, why? No. You guys are stupid. No. Anyways, save point. I recommend using it. Well, you know, unless you're me. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, that was our one thing that was going to be very interesting, and now we have yet another thing. Again, this one's going to be a no-no-hurt uh, bonus thing, so you don't have to worry about that. But here's a new dino file. Triceratops. Hmm. Three-horned face. Length, 8.5 meters. Height, 3 meters. They are herbivores, and they can be found in the outskirts of the city in the fields. They protect the herds, eggs, and herds. They are social dinosaurs. They are very gentle in nature and will not become vicious unless forced to, such as stepping on their eggs. <laughs> hmm. I guess this has happened before since he, or it, whoever wrote this, mentioned it. <laughs> a half a year ago, their attack on the city was unstoppable. A section of the city was completely destroyed. They seem to remember who harmed them. Ever since then, some of our soldiers have to pay their lives for it. If you dare fight them, you have already lost the fight. An angry Triceratops is unstoppable. The only thing that will stop it is an even more angry Triceratops. All we can do against them is to use heavy firearms and aim for the nose and get as far away as possible. Since they have priority for their social lives, they will not come after you if you leave their territory. All you can do is run. Hmm. I'm guessing so. His windpipe has been ripped out. Woo. They appear to have been killed not as food, but as enemy. As enemy, huh? What about the dinosaurs? Were they killed as enemy? There is still smoke smoke in the air. Not much time has passed since they were killed. Hmm. That means they must have died nearly at the same time then. That's unfortunate. But who could have done that? Who would kill both humans and the dinosaurs in such a manner like that? Oh, that's a baby Gina, triceratops. Look, that's not here. right. It's horrible. Who would have done this? Well, the parent triceratops is going to be quite mad once it finds out that. Wait, what? Grunt? No. Oh no. No 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 <laughs> no 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 no. Okay. Uh, you two get away from the body as soon as. Oh, it's too late now. Of all the unfortunate luck, we have to be standing over the body. 
just unfortunate. Oh yes, boss battle. Now we gotta fend off the tri suppress the triceratops attack using the rifle. Yes, there is a smaller cool time, a much smaller cool time than it was in before. But I recommend not spamming the bullets. Shoot it when it gets right up close to you and then shoot its side. Like I said before, there's no no hurt damage, so don't worry about getting hurt and, and then thinking that you're going to lose out a lot of points. Now, this uh, boss battle is actually pretty easy. And, you know, considering things so far, I mean, it's just one Triceratops. It's not much of a problem. We're always going to see where it is and everything like that. So, yay! Did we fend it off? Oh, I think we won. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, God! Oh, now there's two of them! The brown and the green one will alternate their attacks. Sometimes the brown one will go off into the side. Log there it goes. Now, while that one's doing that, the green one will not attack, so attack you, so do not worry about that. But you do have to shoot the brown one when it comes out of the forest tree. Don't do what I just did. Always keep a, a f always keep something to fire with. Because I had multiple times where that brown one would have done that and tricked me that it was going into the thing, but in fact it was just going really far to the side and just smacked me one. Now you can't hurt it any other ways like that. All it does is just grunts and whatever. There's no no real damage that's done. I believe the green one goes down first. I don't know why it's taking so long though. Go away! There we go. Now that brown one should relentlessly continue continue to attack. Yep. Whoa, okay. That one never did that uh, that brown one never did that before. <laughs> that was kind of actually tricky. <laughs> but yeah, it's not too bad. And also very beautiful cutscene coming up. Hey, Regina, in front, watch out! Oh, God! How very fortunate of us that David has came to our rescue. Unfortunately, in his absence, disaster. These people were the only ones left. There aren't any survivors now. So we failed. How could we let everyone die? Look, look, we still have the mission to retrieve the data on third energy research. Dude, even if we get the data, how do we get back to our time? The activator for the gate has been destroyed, right? That's why we need that data. If we study it, we might be able to build another gate to go back. Fine. Let's split up and search the town for the data. David? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I don't like it though. <laughs> now then, before I let you guys go... There is one last dino file to concern with. It is over here next to the dead body, the o uh, the over raptor, and the jeep. There is something under the dead body. You have found a new dino file. Over raptor. 
Meaning, egg robber. Length, 2.5 meters. Height, 1.3 meters. Ever since coming to this world, we've encountered many different dinosaurs, but this is the first one we thought we could handle easily. But we soon learned that we were sadly mistaken. They are equipped with two arsenals. One is their sharp beak, and the other is their poison. The name egg robber was originally given based on misconception, but it turns out that they use their beaks to crack the hard shells of eggs, and to protect themselves, they have acidic poison. They are well equipped in... The both offense and defense. You shouldn't stop moving when you fight them. Some will spit poison, some will jump kick you. You will have a better chance of surviving uh, if you continue to move around and attack. Their small size makes them a pain. They scam when attacking groups. They really get on your nerves. To counter them, a weapon which you can blaze away. It should do the job. Alright, people! The rest of... Uh, Edward City is going to come in the next episode, so this is time to get into the let's play of Dino Crisis 2. I hope each and every one of you have a great day. Question of the view is going to be in the description. Peace! Yeah!